Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Adelia Lintang Pramesti and my friend Nurwulan Rizki Anjani. We are from class JI Viral and now we will explain to you about quantitative research. And please enjoy our video. First, let's talk about what quantitative research is. There are many features explain the definition about quantitative research and here is some of the features there are Kasiran, Creswell, Punch and also Berryman let's start from Kasiran he said that this research was a scientific research that is systematically arranged on the part to find causality in order to find out relationship it means Quantitative research is an attempt by a researcher to find knowledge by presenting data in the form of numbers and the features obtained are used to carry out information analysis. The second feature is Creswell who said that this research is a process of investigating the problem that is fundamental to data collection by researchers to find variables that will be measured by number so that they can analyze according statistical procedures. Third, Puch also said that this research based on empirical experience by collecting data in the form of number that can be calculated and the data have to be in a numerical form. The last features is Berryman who say that this research involving theory, design, hypothesis, subject determination, which is supported by data collection, data processing, and data analysis. So, the essence of quantitative research is the process of finding knowledge based on numeric data. Okay, let's jump to the next slide, which talk about the purpose of quantitative research. There are three purposes. First, optimizing the measurement process. Measurement in quantitative research is very important because the result will help in seeing the fundamental relationship between empirical observation and quantitative data result. The second purpose to determine the relationship between variables in a population. And the third purpose is determining quantitative research design. The quantitative research design are in the two form, namely descriptive studies and experimental studies. It can call a descriptive studies if the researchers only test the relationship between the variables only once. Meanwhile, it can call experimental studies when the researchers takes measurement between variables before and after the research. And go to the next slide which talk about the characteristic of quantitative research. There are also three. First, the characteristic of quantitative research is this research only focus on a specific problem and the important characteristic of this research is this research is not a result oriented oriented rather it is a process oriented so the things being researched are more focused on researching something unique but still highlighting the scientific research process the last characteristic is the research result must be credibility auditability transferability and confirmability so that the validity of data can be seen uh, so now let's uh, go to the next slide which will explain by my friends Ulan 
So we jump to the next slide. It is types of quantitative research. So there are several types of quantitative research methods, uh, including the following. Uh, there are three types. Uh, first, a comparative method. The type of comparative uh, method is the type of research intended to determine the differences in the variable studied. This research uh, does not expect manipulative uh, abilities, so that the uh, so that the resulting data is truly objective and accurate. And in other words, uh, the comparative method is carried out as naturally as possible. The results of the analysis uh, of the differences in the variables are analyzed, studied are clearly visible. The second is method description. Uh, the descriptive method or a uh, method description is a research uh, method that conveys fake by describing what is seen, obtained, and felt. So, in the language of journalism, researchers write a report the result of their eye view reports where the author describes the subject of uh, the object being studied without engineering uh, or the like. The last but not least, or the third, is correlation method. Another type of quantitative research is a research method that aims to describe two or more research results. Uh, this method is more appropriate to compare similarities or differences so that uh, the research results are more specific and clear. This research method is more appropriate and suitable for research that has a clear starting point of research. Uh, at least before doing research, uh, we can check first the type of research taken and which method is more appropriate to use from the tree above. So we jump to the next slide. It is about steps uh, to do it. So what are uh, the steps uh, for doing the research? Well, here are some steps uh, you need uh, to prepare. First, uh, we can see to the slide that first is make a problem formulation or problem statement. The first step that uh, the researcher must make is to formulate a problem statement. So the formulation of the problem uh, is in the form of a question sentence, not a statement. Regarding formulating a good problem, it must be specific, relevant to the theme raised, new and original, and attract attention. The second is determining the theory foundation. The next step, which is no less important uh, than uh, the first step, uh, is to create a theoretical basis or uh, we usually hear theoretical framework. The theoretical basis or literature review is actually one of the effort to find answers to the problem formulation or the problem statement that the author has determined. So, the purpose of the theoretical framework is uh, that researchers conduct a literature review and research relevant uh, to the theme raised. It is hoped that from theoretical studies, uh, <clears throat> theoretical studies is uh, uh, from various sources, it is hoped that the answers will be found. The third is formulating the hypothesis. Uh, I'm sure you are familiar uh, with the term of hypothesis, right? Uh, the hypothesis is a provisional answer. So, from uh, the theoretical study uh, that has been done, the research, the researcher can make a temporary answer. Uh, where is the temporary answer that will be tested later? Is the hypothesis that you make is true or appropriate or vice versa? It does not fit and does not match the formulation of the problem above. Uh, the fourth is data collection. This data collection is your effort as a researcher to collect data to get solution and answers. However, in collecting data, researchers need two things, namely requiring, uh, require, uh, requiring a research instrument and testing instrument. Uh, this research instrument is actually a means to facilitate researchers in taking data in the field. There are many forms of research uh, instruments and some are in the form of questionnaires, observation sheet, tests, or uh, interview, both structured and unstructured interviews. Meanwhile, 
what is meant by the instrument test is the research effort to test the validity and reliability and uh, reliability of uh, the of the appointed uh, instrument. The fifth step or the next step is to analyze the data. From the data that has been collected, you are in need. Uh, you are indeed uh, required to be able to take only the important and relevant parts. Then, from that data, you perform data analysis. Data analysis attempts to answer uh, the hypothesis that have been made previously. Talking about data analysis technique, uh, in quantitative research, can use stat, uh, statistic and descriptive stati- statistic or inductive statistics. The final part, of course, is the conclusion. Conclusion should be written in outline. It doesn't need to be elaborated in length uh, and wide. Uh, the presence of this conclusion is nothing but a form of the results of hypothesis testing and conveys whether the hypothesis is rejected or accepted. So, it is enough to write briefly, concisely, and clearly. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Stay safe and stay healthy. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.